Hi there, it's Kaya from Kaichko Crafts and today I will show you the technique that's called stenciling with water. The first thing that I will do is that I will tape down my watercolor paper, this one is from the wand, and then I will just use my zigs in purple, this dark blue and some aqua color and I will just put it directly on my paper. Then I will use this big brush to spread the color around. I know that you can see some of these lines from the marker in the background, but we will apply more and more color, so you won't be able to see that much. And for me it actually looks better if there are some lines, because then it actually looks like it has some more interest and some more texture or structure there. So I will just continue adding the color until I'm happy with the colors that I got. It will all look really blue in the end, but because we mix the colors you will be able to see some of that purple and aqua in the middle too. So now I will just use my paper towel and here I made a mistake because I got some water on my paper, but I will just go with it and I will make some more splotches of water and I will just use a dry paper towel to pick some water off. I decided that I will do the technique of stenciling with water, but that doesn't mean that I will apply water directly on my stencil, because if I would do that the water would go underneath the stencil. So as you can see I just wet my paper towel and now I will go directly on my stencil and I will just pick that color up. You will see what I'm talking about. You can't see it now because we have stencil there, <laughs> but I will just use this wet paper towel and now I will use the dry one to pick up that extra water that I have there. I will just use it again and again until I believe that I have picked up enough color and that will make the difference. And you will see what I mean here. Isn't it beautiful? Magic. <laughs> so I have trimmed down this paper to fit my card base. And now I will use this rectangle and I will just cut it down and I want to have this border around so I will cut the excess off again with my trimmer and now we need this cute little mermaid and I will just stamp it with my VersaFine again on my Derwent watercolor paper and I will use again Ziggs to color in this beautiful mermaid. I will use uh, some purples to color her, her tail and as you can see I won't use a lot of water because I want to have these bold colors since we have really dark blue background. So I will just use these two colors and I won't use water brush with it. I usually do so and you will see that I will use my water brush here with her hair. I will make her hair brown and I will just make sure that I have the darkest area where the shadows would be. I just thought that this brown isn't enough so I will just add some of the darker brown and again I will just blend it out first with my marker and then with my water brush. Of course our mermaid also need a skin color so I will just use this and of course cheeks in pink. I will just use its coordinating die to die cut it and this gives her a beautiful white edge. And I just thought that my background is a bit too plain so I will use this white paint and I will just make some small splotches of water and this acrylic paint so it will look a bit more connected and a bit more like finished. So th then I just stamped this happy birthday, that's from the same set swimming by, that's where the mermaid is from. And now I will just glue everything together, I will use double sided tape to tape down this frame 
I used liquid glue to glue down this sentiment piece and now I will just pop up my mermaid with some double sided foam and this will give it a bit of dimension and for me now it looks just perfect so I will just use my uh, glue and glue it to my card base and that will be actually it for this quick and simple card. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you will try this water stenciling technique and that you will show me your results. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!